Welcome to this tutorial on the benefits of electronic data interchange or EDI and how to get started. The information given in this training is correct as of June 2023. The most current information contained in this presentation can be found on the Neridian Medicare website and the CMS website at the links listed on this slide. EDI, or Electronic Data Energy Change, is just a transfer of information electronically. Submitting your claims electronically not only saves you money, but it also saves you time. Electronic claims are processed in 14 days, whereas paper claims take 28 days to process. Medicare also provides free software to allow you to submit claims and review your remittance devices, or RAs, electronically. This slide provides you with the contact information, as well as the hours that our EDI team is available. And this is for both Jurisdiction E and Jurisdiction F that you see on the slide. We also did provide you with EDI's email addresses where you can contact them for claim or report information. To verify yourself when calling EDI, you will need the information listed on the screen. You need your name in the MPI you're calling about, the business name and your phone number with your extension. You also need to provide a complete description of the issue that you're calling about. And then you also wanna make sure you add EDI's address to your address book so emails from us don't get routed to your spam folder. CMS does require that all claims are submitted electronically, except in a few limited circumstances which you will see listed on this slide. If you want further information, you will see the red arrow pointing to the breadcrumb trail on the top of the slide. If you do have any questions, you can either go to their website listed at the breadcrumb trail, or you can contact EDI with the contact information listed on slide four. Some of the things that our EDI reps can help you with is getting set up with an EDISS Connect account. Now this is the first step you need to take to get registered to send your claims electronically. On this screen you will see a web address to go to the EDI Connect webpage to register. The website offers user guides to set up and connect and the next steps to take to get approved for sending electronic claims. Some of the other things our EDI team can assist you with is understanding the reports you may receive for front-end rejections. Now, a front-end rejection is going to be an edit that stopped your claim from making it to the processing system. You will not see any information in the portal in this case or get any information out of our IVR or interactive voice response system. You will get the information on reports you will receive from EDI. A back-end denial will be seen in the portal and denial information will appear on your remittance advice. For these denials, you will contact the Customer Service Center for your jurisdiction. You will also want to use the EDISS distribution list for information about processing delays and other helpful information such as articles about common problems. EDI can also assist you with things such as system status updates. Uh, for instance, these will tell you if there are any issues with the gateway system. Our EDI team can also help you with understanding the free Medicare software if you choose to use that and assist with terminology such as the difference between a direct submitter versus a billing service. To submit claims electronically, whether it is direct or through a clearinghouse, you have to create a Connect account and submit test claims. On this slide, you can see there are two separate places to register for Connect. That is the big green button on the left or the blue rank on the lower right corner. This screen here is an important one. It is the first screen in the registration process. Choosing the correct option will save you a lot of headaches in the long run. If you are a provider, you will click Provider. 
but if you are a billing service, clearinghouse, or software company, you will click the Vendors box. On our last screen here, you will see EDI links for resources for Connect. The top section, the Provider or Vendor User Guide, will walk you through the directions of setting up your Connect account step by step. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our tutorial. Continue your learning experience by referring to additional recordings available on the Noridian website or YouTube channel.